That's Gavlin Peak. That's what we're going to go climb today. That mountain I've been looking at for uh, several years now and wanting to climb it, but never was in a good enough shape to do it. It's one of the things I promised myself that I would be able to do when I started off on this weight loss program. I'm almost 40 pounds down and uh, probably in the best shape of my life, so I'm ready to tackle this monster. Um, so today's the day. Me and Jared are going to head on up. Uh, and uh, we don't have all the right gear, I'm sure, <laughs> but we've got a bunch of water and we're going to do the best we can. Let's see if we can tackle this thing today. Let's go. All right, here we are at the, uh, well, kind of not at the base, just at the bottom of the mountain here. Had to drive through all this uh, crazy rough terrain of New River to get here. And uh, here's the mountain. There's Jared. <laughs> He's ready to go. We're going to tackle this thing. I guess we're going to try to take our way up over on this side first and, uh, and get over there and see what the back side looks like, see if we can get up to the top. So uh, I guess uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Well, it'll just be a second to you. So, uh, And uh, we'll see how we're doing. All right. Here's Jared. A lot of rough terrain, cactuses. A lot of stuff to get through. I decided to wear shorts like a knucklehead, but uh, I'll be careful. I try not to scratch myself up too much. So, I guess I gotta thank Josh Rogers right now for all the uh, treadmill incline workouts I've had to do. Now, welcome. We got a Sahara garden here. For all my friends out there in the Midwest, uh, your cactuses, all right? All this climb is uh, right after a uh, actual brutal Wednesday night workout up at the sweat gym. Yeah, they really killed our legs, so my legs and back are sore. But hopefully this will help stretch them out a little bit better. So onward we go. Oh, yeah, there's one right there, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jared was smart. He wore jeans. All right. Little ravine here, and then over to the south side. I love this. You know, uh, about six, well, about three months ago, if I would have taken this journey, I would have been tired out and chest would have been hurting and needed to sit down. I mean, any little bit of exercise I would have done would have been terribly uncomfortable. And that's kind of how it was started when I started working out. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not tired. Even though I'm breathing, I'm feeling the workout. And it feels good. It feels good to do this. I know six months ago I tried doing things like this and it would just be miserable. I'd be coughing and hacking. Didn't feel good at all. Now it feels great. I love this. Can't wait to get to the top. Okay, so that's as far as we've gotten. You can see the car. Where I parked my car all the way down there. That's great. Just to show how far we've come, we're just up kind of on the incline right now. Looking up towards the mountain. And uh, we're going to make our way over here and see if we can climb up maybe through that. I love this, man. This is going to get me hooked on mountain climbing now. There's a couple other mountains around the area I want to get to. This is great. You should try it sometime. Well, where should we go? Man, look at you can see Anthem from here. Yeah, that's all Anthem over there. Yep, it's pretty cool. We're up here. Still got a little ways to go. Let's keep going. Oh, you can see up there. Yeah, 
You make it there before I do, huh? Well, here we go. Get through this thing. I'm making it. This is good stuff. I'm enjoying myself. I never thought I could enjoy something like this. I swear, something like this was always like a burden because so out of shape, you know, you get tired and it's miserable. But I broke past that misery point in working out to the point of now exercise like this is enjoyable. Thank God. I'm amazed at how I feel right now. Never thought I could do this. Really. Never thought I'd love to do this. Wow. I can see the ranch from here. I can barely make it out though. Yeah, I see it now. There's the car. We've made it quite a ways so far. Alright buddy. Here I am. Oh buddy. And here I am. I've been here. <laughs> here we are. Here's Jared. He's up ahead of me a little bit. We just climbed through this. Steep craziness of rock. It's real loose up here. But uh, we're doing good. The view is awesome from up here. You can see a lot. All right, well, we just got to figure out how we're going to get to the top of this thing because it's we took a pretty steep route. We probably should have went over here, but we didn't. So we're going to uh, muscle our way through rock climbing. Okay, Jared's moving along. He's a little bit more in, ambitious than I care for him to be. Uh, but uh, he seems to be making quite well over this yeah, this is not a, uh, definitely not a simple climb, for sure. We've chosen the hard way up, so, well, but here we go. He's already ahead of me. <laughs> See you in a minute. Well, here we are. Almost to the top. We just got a few more steps to go. We've got a nice little view from here. We've climbed all the way up this thing. These rock, steep rock climbing here. We're all living it. Yep. A car way down there. We've come a long way up this mountain. How are you feeling, Jerry? <laughs> no, we're almost at the top. So, just a minute to the top here, and that'll be it. I wish I could record us going up, but I need two hands to climb, so there it is. So, see you at the top. There's Jared Chillaxon. <laughs> We're at the top of Gavilan Peak. And there is, I guess, everything. It's awesome to finally have made it up here. There's Anthem over there. It's great overlooking this thing um, it's just awesome just making it up here I just feel good I don't feel sore or tired uh, I feel like I've just gotten through a good workout and uh, I'm pretty happy about what what we've accomplished today um, I feel good about it I feel good about conquering this and triumphing this mountain finally I had promised Jared about a year ago to go up here and uh, never got up here because, actually probably for the last couple of years, because just I knew that it would be a burden on me, you know, the way the extra weight I was carrying and knowing that I was out of shape, I, I just running a little bit would just tire me out so bad. So doing this was just no way. Um, but who knew, you know, uh, here I am three months ago, I could never have done something like this and now today uh, I can do it and uh, it's because of all the training that I've undergone you know who knew that running on those inclines on those treadmills and uh, doing those bear crawls would get me prepared for something like this and uh, I, I just was thinking about something the other day on how uh, how this relates to sometimes our spiritual walks and how God uh, puts us through trials sometimes, small trials in our lives, and, and, and I think about how often we neglect those things. Like we think, like I think, how does running on this treadmill or how does doing this bear crawl going to get me to climb a mountain? And, and I guess you can realize how that would work. Uh, but in our spiritual lives, like we, we have trials that come our way, small ones, and, and how often do we avoid those trials? when they're really there to prepare us and train us, maybe for some bigger mountain that we need to climb down the road. And that's kind of how I thought of this today. 
that some of the trials in our lives are just training periods, things that can help us get to where we need to be so that when the big thing comes our way, we'll be able to conquer it and not just not conquer it as if it was a burden, but be able to conquer any trial or any mountain as if it were a joy. That, I think, is the goal of the Christian life, or that is the goal of an overcoming walk, that no matter what things come our way, we can overcome them and overcome it with joy. That's what I did today. I overcame a big mountain with joy, and uh, I'm satisfied with this. I'm satisfied with where, I'm, where I've come. So thanks for joining me on this journey. Glad you shared it with me. For me and Jared, there's Jared. Say bye. Bye. We're going to climb down the mountain now. Um, we won't be able to record it uh, just because it was hard enough getting up here. <laughs> so see you on the flip. Peace.